Well, hopefully you were able to see uh, some of the gifts. I didn't do an official like um, what we bought the everybody for Christmas this year, but I'm sure you missed a bunch. But hopefully you got to got to see a bunch too. Um, Andrew and Christina live out of town. So, I, Kevin and I were both really hoping that they could fit it all in their car because uh, we had them take everything out of their car completely uh, besides the car seats. And, uh, but you couldn't, you couldn't get everything in their car. So, um, we've got stuff in the back of our car and their car is absolutely full too. So, we are on our way. It, uh, it's rush hour traffic. It's not a good time of day to be doing this, but we are going to deliver the rest of their stuff to their house so that they have it all. Because with Andrew's work schedule, he just, he's, he works all the time. And honestly, when he's not working, Christina has a doctor's appointment. So that's just the way it, it's been. And he's not complaining and, and nobody's complaining about it. It's just that when he has a day off, there's a doctor's appointment. So, um... Uh, that's that's why it's like you all don't see Andrew in videos and and stuff like that is because he just doesn't have a lot of free time but we're gonna deliver this stuff to their house but I think they really really liked everything mm -hmm. what do you think yeah I think so too I think it's been a uh, we bought um, the surprise gift I think Eve, uh, the Evie's favorite gift was uh, in Sam's Club. They had these um, Elsa, they had these Elsa things that it was about this tall and you push a button and she sings into the unknown and it lights up and, and she, she, spins. she spins. Well, they had the Elsa one, but then they also had, they had some figures that, that wouldn't have been like interesting like maybe some star wars figures or something like that yeah and so i don't remember what that was yeah so we got i can one. follow andrew if you want to go the old road yeah why don't you follow andrew right we i don't know the old road we got um uh one of those for the girls room because they share a room that lights up and i think that was evie's favorite gift she just would not leave that alone it said it played for like 15 minutes so it must be in demo mode right now where yes. like repeated it This is what we woke up to this morning and they've been uh, threatening the uh, snow but the main problem is the cold so um, I think Kevin said it was showing up as like negative five degrees so I'm not gonna open up the screen so you might get a glare um, but yeah, it's supposed to be like negative five degrees outside so I'm just hoping all the like the little neighborhood kitty cats I just hope they, uh, they're they somewhere inside and warm. But there are people out on the road. I'm trying to show you through this um, through this door and it's hard to do. <laughs> Maybe I can show you up here. You can see that's how cold it is on the inside of the door. <laughs> so yeah, it's just really, really cold weather today. So I want to show you, it is 14 degrees outside. And inside our house, it is 57 degrees. So that is correct, 57 degrees. Um, and we have it set to 70. We do not have one of those um, emergency pumps, I think is what they're called, or emergency heat or whatever that is. We do not have that here. Uh, we just have a regular, uh, regular furnace system. So when I remember this, uh, if you're new to my channel, this is uh, my family home. So I was raised here and then since like third grade and then when my mom died, my dad wanted to, to move to something on one level. So he sold the house to Kevin and I. We bought the house for my dad. That said, 
when I was little, my parents used to, it, this is gonna sound so weird to some of you all, but I'm gonna show you. You see where the hallway, where, where the steps go up here? My parents, my dad used to take like plastic and he would put plastic over this whole opening. And he did that for uh, at least one year. Um, he put, it might've been two years, he put plastic here so that the heat uh, would not escape because heat rises. So there was no, when, when we were little, there was no heat upstairs at all. Now, since um, we've lived here, we have put heat and air upstairs. So our, it has it up there now. But I remember him saying that they would never, ever, ever, ever do that again because what was happening is somehow the heat was getting up there anyway and like the furnace was always on and it was trying to heat up that area. Anyway, they had this astronomical bill because they did that one year. So don't do that. I'm not recommending you do that. But another thing my parents used to do was they used to close off. The good thing about um, these old homes is you can close off rooms because they all have doors that's all separated. That's something that a lot of people like having a big open space to live in. And I think that's awesome too. Uh, but I like having the separate rooms as well. So I'll show you. My parents used to always close off the front of the house basically uh so mine and jennifer's my sister m our bedroom was in here so we um i've had my bedroom in like the four rooms of this house before but my me and jennifer our bedroom when we were little was in this room but they used to close off like in the front of the house you all have seen our living room and den they used to close it off so kevin and i have not done that since we've lived here However, we did it just, we did it yesterday. Kevin uh, closed off the den, closed off the living room, and he said it is cold, 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 cold out there. So you can see if the house is 57 degrees, um, it, it's pretty cold in here. So I wanna show you how we've been living besides that. So those two doors are closed. We haven't gone out there at all. Our bedroom door is closed because traditionally uh, this has been the warmest room in the house has been the bedroom. So Kevin and I will literally stay holed up in that bedroom all day long. So and then you have my bathroom. My bathroom door is closed because the, you're going to see how beautiful we live here. This heater, this heater is on. So I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to close the door while I'm talking to you. Um, the water's running and we you have you you should leave both faucets running so hot and cold and we leave the doors open be, so that the uh, wa the airflow can get underneath and the pipes won't freeze so water on doors open heaters on so now i'll take you um so that's that bathroom and then you go into the kitchen and the kitchen, we have a heater going. Garbage can's full because we haven't taken it out because it's, it's too darn cold to take the garbage out. So the garbage, we've already filled up one garbage bag and it's on the back porch waiting to take out because we ain't going out in this weather. Um, 14 degrees or whatever I said it was. But in here, again, water's running, the, uh, the door's open. Uh, so that there will be some airflow under there because this kitchen is very, very, very cold. And then lastly, you see the pile of clothes here because guess what? I haven't done laundry because I don't want the pipe to burst. We've done, uh, my parents, when we were little, they've done laundry before and the pipe will break if you try to do laundry when it's this cold. So this is back, I call it Kevin's bathroom because just because it has all of his stuff in here. But once again, Heater's on. Now, he doesn't have his door open. I'm going to open his door. Definitely open his door. So, um, water's on. And that seems like a waste of water, but it I, we think it helps. Heater on, and I've got the door open in here, too. 
So usually I don't say anything in these videos, you know, like I've said before that we've been cold and stuff like that, but usually I don't like actually show you, but I figured I would show you because there are so many people right now who are dealing with these very, very cold temperatures. Even my friend Joshua in Texas told me that they have been dealing with bitter, bitter cold temperatures and the houses in Texas aren't made to the, he he said that you know the 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 pipes aren't um how did he word it he said like they weren't far enough underground and so they want to freeze and um they're just not equipped to deal with this air in uh texas uh but i put a picture on instagram and i've had a lot of people respond and i thought I need to show you all that you you are not in this alone uh, because we're in the same boat and so 90% uh, of the day we have been spending back in the bedroom and we'll come out to get like like there's no making like dinner and stuff like that it's snacks you're gonna be eating some snacks you're gonna be eating uh, peanuts or a bag of chips or whatever because nobody feels like being in this kitchen uh, to cook <laughs> because it's so cold um, but uh, yeah everybody's going through it right now and so if you've ever thought about a Victorian home then you need to know that they they are beautiful and they have big rooms and like i said i like it that it's separated although i think i would like a big community area as well you know like houses are today um i like it both ways but uh, if you've ever thought about a victorian home this is something that you don't think about is you don't think about the winter time and it being this cold in here because it's not just uh put some socks on and put a sweatshirt on whatever it's literally like you're stuck in a room and my dad um he he said i remember being uh back in the back of the house and sitting and watching tv and stuff like that all day long just because you can't do anything it's just too cold to do anything so you can let me know in the comments of uh, how you have prepared um uh, there's I'm a member of the Facebook group called I think it's called like our old house and it has been um, Very very interesting to follow them through this too because people have posted pictures about like how snow has been on the inside of the house on the window ledges on the inside um, how they've had like ice on their electrical outlets and they've had to turn their electricity off some of you have been without electricity and I just I, I told Kevin I said we would have no choice but to go to a hotel I mean there you just you could not survive in this weather so um, I just wanted to show you what we're dealing with it is 602 as you can see and it is 18 degrees outside and it is currently 51 degrees inside so what happened was shortly after i talked to you this morning uh the heat went out <laughs> yeah jokes on us huh um the heat went out uh downstairs so the heat is still working upstairs and I had bought, when my dad moved, I had bought um, twin beds and a dresser and an end table. So I bought, so there are twin beds upstairs made up, sheets, blankets, and everything, if we decide to sleep up there. Uh, because Kevin has been up there and he says the heat is still working upstairs because it's two different units because we had that one put in. Uh, but the heat went off downstairs. So downstairs is where all of our televisions are, where the computers are, where we like to be. You know, it, our stuff, there's nothing upstairs for us to do. So I don't know if we'll end up sleeping up there or not, but um, I'll show you what, he's, what he did. What he had to do was we had, I showed you that um, the heater in the kitchen well, you, we in our bedroom, we have, since we do have two computers hooked up in our bedroom, you can't um, hook, you can't turn on the heater, because if you turn on the heater, it'll kick the breaker. So, Kevin has a, a extension cord going from the kitchen in here, and the, the heater that was in there, we now have it in the bedroom. It does help some, it helps a little bit, there's a noticeable difference. Um being in that bedroom and then coming out here in the hall so coming out here in the hall it's absolutely miserable so 
um, go, I can't wait to go into that bathroom for just a few minutes. It's like glorious going into the bathroom because <laughs> it's a tiny room and the heater's been on. So, uh, Kevin did call our, um, um, repair guys. And of course, uh, they're not there today, but he, uh, left a message. And so tomorrow when they come into work, hopefully they will call us first thing because, uh, yeah, this is just absolutely miserable in here that nobody wants to be in 51 degree weather. It, um, if we didn't have the heaters, we would definitely have to go get a hotel room. So fortunately we have those three heaters or it would be even worse. I don't remember what it was last time we checked. I'm thinking it was 51. So now it is down to 48 degrees. It is after midnight. It's like 12, 15. It's supposed to be down to like nine degrees tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's 48 degrees now. So it's right around 12 o'clock and we are at 45 degrees, but Kevin thought of something. You might notice, hold on, down here on the floor, there are now two cords going to our room because Kevin remembered that we had another heater. We had another heater up in the attic that we forgot about. Yes, we forgot about it. We bought this one last year because, and it's on, and you can't hear it. And I wish we had thought about it the other day because when these are on, we've got this turned off right now. We'll, we'll turn it back on in just a minute. But when these are on, you can hear it. When this is on, you can't hear it at all. And it's that radiant heat is what Kevin said it was. But so we brought it in the bedroom to add some more warmth. Uh, but we bought it last year to use in the kitchen because it gets so cold in the kitchen. So now we have that for tonight. So that will help as well. And we've been calling around to, um, we've been calling around to companies and no one's answered the phone. So I don't know if they're on vacation. I don't know what the deal is, but we've called literally, we called three different companies and none of the companies are answering the phone. Our main company that we usually call, we always call them for anything. They have, uh, when they answer the phone, or when the machine answers the phone, it says push zero for an emergency. Well, we push zero. We pushed zero. We left a message. Zero does not do it. You're just literally leaving another message on a phone that probably will not get listened to. So it does no good to have an emergency number at all. Uh, so we, we called them. We called another uh, place. The, the people that installed the furnace upstairs is a different company than we used for downstairs. And of course, any company will work on anything. But this company we called and they're supposed to be open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Doesn't matter if it's a holiday or not. Kevin couldn't get through to them. Um, at all. Uh, we just, we cannot get a hold of anybody to come and help us out. So, uh, we're just waiting. Just waiting. Uh, we're going to wait it out, but it, it has not been any fun at all. So, Ashley invited us over for lunch, and so she made nachos. She asked us what we wanted, and nachos sounded really, really good. We haven't had these I don't think since she's made them for us. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's a huge pan, but we're really hungry. So we're over at Ashley's and she's going to open her Christmas present. And this first one is from Andrew and Christina. And she's asked me not to show her face. So I'm not going to show her face because she doesn't have makeup on. But that's okay that because so I figured you all would appreciate getting to see what she, um, what she gets for Christmas. Now you've seen her stocking stuffers. I showed those in a different video, so I'm not going to include her stocking stuffers in this video. But I'll show you everything else. I know exactly. Look under the lid. This is a candle. This is a candleberry candle. Oh, it's a Yankee candle. All right, all right. Different than I thought. What? Oh, what, and money. What scent is it? Gentle rain. <clears throat> Yeah. Cash. He Money. Said sure, uh, he said oh, it smells He said he put fifty dollars in there. He's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, if we're going to Hawaii this year, I can't be eating all this. <laughs> <laughs> I know, really. Oh, 
I'm excited about this. Things my students said. Oh my gosh. I am very excited about this. And you fill it in. That is amazing. Uh-huh. Because I have so many. Yes, you do. Especially you have, from this year. You have so many stories that I don't want you to forget about. She's already told me things that the students have said. Yeah, and they're all about wieners. And, and, oh, you, every time. and you can uh, fill the book in and put the date. And I think this will be a really nice gift. And they had different covers on Amazon. Oh, oh, that's right. I didn't recognize it because we didn't get to see it. Ah, look! Oh, I love it so much. It says doll and it's a necklace. Do people know why it says doll? Um, Ashley's grandfather used to has always called her doll. He still calls her doll. Mm -hmm. I think everybody should pick up on it. That is Look from, at how cute! That is from that place that uh, you told us that you liked. Yeah, but I didn't think you'd actually get it. Yeah. You had already bought the same exact set for yourself. Yeah, but I still want another one. I love these. This is like my most used thing in my kitchen. I use them all the time. I'm glad. There's three in my fridge right now. Ooh, this paper's pretty. Oh, it's on a book. Oh, and it becomes a poster. What is the name of that one? Oh, look. Oh, oh yeah. It's called Our Class is a Family. Oh, I love this. And then the world needs more purple schools. I've never heard of that of this one. Um they uh, that was at Target. In a purple school, different kids and teachers come together. I'll have to read that. I've never heard of that one. Yeah, That's hopefully cute. hopefully that'll be something that you can have in your classroom. Oh tissues. Oh, <laughs> Useful. <laughs> you know, honestly, you know where I'm going to take these? To school? To my classroom. Not that paper because it looked like Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. That and there's a blue one too, but I don't know if I wrapped any of your gifts in the blue one. Hot water. Yeah, all the boxes we've been sent. That's what you're saying. Yeah, but it's always interesting to see like what's what's on it. Oh, it's a sweater. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it felt really, really soft. Yeah, it's pretty. I like the sleeves how they have like the little lines. She'll bring it closer. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that a hint? No. <laughs> and I saw wipes. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. It looks cozy too. It's it's <coughs> so soft. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Ooh. Oh, I like that a lot. And that'll go really well with my yellow pants. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could put that with a lot of different colors. I like that. Oh. <laughs> the pods. That's actually what's in there. <laughs> the pods. Yeah. Okay, we love a pod. Yeah, it's in that one big box because we bought it at uh, Sam's Club. Thank you. And are they? They're in bags. They're in bags. In yes, box. yes. Yeah, I think there's, it's just one big piece. Of, yeah, look on the back. Yeah, look on the back and you'll see what it is. Ooh, it's like a, is it a Dutch oven? Dutch oven. Yes. We so don't, I can, they're calling it a French oven, but. Yeah. What is it new? It's just an oval paint pot that it, you can put in the oven and bake casseroles. Can I use it on the stove top too? Or yes. Just, yeah. You yes. can do both. Yeah, that that's special? why I bought it. I knew she'd love that color. <laughs> Is it the same brand? Um, Crofton. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It's a flat brand. Oh, I like it. But it looks Yeah, you could make wow. great big dishes in there. Oh, I like it. Cool. Thank you. That's not something I would have ever bought for myself. I didn't think so. It smells like it. Okay, that is Tennessee whiskey. I knew. I'm right, aren't I? Mm -hmm. uh, and... 
You still like it a lot? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is Ashley's favorite scent of candles. Tennessee whiskey, and it's the Candleberry Company. boxes to open for you but first but first we're in the kitchen mm -hmm. it's comfortable in the kitchen it's actually 70 degrees it's 70 degrees in the house so tell them about the the, the man came he came over that night didn't he yeah and i mean it. it's not like he wasn't out busy because they say you know if somebody can come right then then that's not good well, he couldn't come right then. Yeah, but he came later that night. But he came later that night. Um, and he went under the house. They troubleshot, troubleshot the issue for probably half an hour or so. Mm -hmm. And they figured out what was wrong with it. It's a, it's a flu box and um, some pressure switches. So the flu box is broken, but he managed to get it, like pushed up against there and held it in place until he could get a part for it. And then the pressure switches, he, he got new ones of those. So he put those in. So he got them in and... Um, started working and he's ordered the box and um, so yeah so we're, we're in good shape for now yeah we have heat it's been glorious yeah. so I'm um, actually with my regular shirt on instead of a sweatshirt on. Yeah. so this <laughs> says uh, this I've got two Christmas cards and to be fair these came before Christmas but we just didn't get them and we were right down there right before Christmas mm -hmm. it this is stamped on the 19th so it just didn't get to our PO box um, so this, I think that winter storm slowed everybody down I think it did too. Because everybody got hit with it. And this is from Haley and Phil. Haley and Phil travel a lot. Um, it says, thank you for another year of fun, laughter, and trying new things. Happy anniversary as well. We hope that your holiday season is bright and cheery. Maybe King Charles will send an invite to the coronation. Hey. That would, never know. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. That would be really nice. Um... Yeah, if, if he would give us the money, yeah, give us the money to fly us over there too. Yeah, well, here I'll fly you over. Yeah, that would be nice. Does she have a moose costume on or something? What is that? That it looks a deer. It I looks like a bull yeah. or something. <laughs> Hilarious. The old faithful one. She's got a costume on. Yeah, you remember their pictures <laughs> from London where they wore their dinosaur costumes all over London and took pictures. Hilarious. hilarious absolutely i'm hilarious. not that brave a person they travel all the time yeah. um if we had the money to do that i would do that too um, um that's what you do it when you can you know yeah do it when you can because yeah we honestly we absolutely never had the money to travel anywhere no, for we, we had kids pretty early though. yeah for years and years and years and years and so uh, then we, Kevin got a bonus one year. I've said this before. And then we finally had the money and Kevin's like, let's go to Disney. And I, I had been to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and I had been to little places like that, but I had never really what I consider traveled until we went to Disney and I got the bug. I really got bit by, I'm sure if Kevin realized what I he would have never doing, went. He would have never. I, well, I enjoy, I enjoy traveling too. Because it stresses I love it. me, but I'll, I enjoy it. And if we had the money, I, I would go all the time. Um, it's just wonderful. I love it. Uh, this is from Daniel in Branson, and it says, uh, there's you, and then there's everybody else. Merry Christmas, you. That's actually, that's more Andrew than anybody. Uh, yes, that, that is. Everybody else is dressed up like normal, and, and he's got that's Christmas Andrew. decorations. Yeah, that's Andrew. Um, there we go. The reason Kevin's saying that is because I posted a picture. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a hilarious picture of Andrew on Instagram. It also went to Facebook as well. But Andrew has these Christmas baubles and they're beard. Baubles. They're beard baubles. And he hung them all over his beard and went into work like that. So if you missed that picture, it's on my Facebook and my Tammy Dunn YouTube hilarious. Facebook. And it's on my Instagram. The link to my Instagram is below if you want to check it out. But yeah, there's that picture on there. Um, this is a package. Okay, this is Tammy and Kevin. Oh, look. <laughs> That's cute. 
I think uh, we had a cat that used to sit like that. Wishing you a perfectly wonderful Christmas. Um, Merry Christmas, just a little something here. I know you've tasted so much. I love your channel and appreciate you both. Happy New Year. This is from Cheryl in San Diego. Look at this card. Is that not so cute? That's adorable. Oh, adorable. okay. I don't, I, I don't know that we've had one. I know we've had the gummy one, the, not the gummy, the little, the ones shaped like a watermelon slice mm -hmm. that are um, more like a, a, a different texture, like a jelly bean texture. These are right. actual gummies. Yeah, these are watermelon, watermelon gummies. gummies. Now I'm assuming those are shaped like candy canes. You're talking about the ones that were like trolleys. Yeah, but there's, they, they make them in Harbo too, I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. But they're like, look like a slice of watermelon. And I've seen these. I can't remember if we've had these or not. No, no. They're I shaped like candy canes, but they're apple, cherry, and something. Whatever that is. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, here it is. Cherry, sugar plum. Sugar plum, okay. And candy apple. Well, we'll hey, Cheryl, we'll review these. Yep. Thank you very, very yeah. much. We'll look to make sure. But. Yeah, I'll look to make sure, but I, I know I've seen the candy cane, but I don't know that we've ever tried the candy cane and or bought the candy cane. Uh, yeah, and this is the 100th anniversary edition of the uh, Harbo Gold Bears Watermelon. So thank you very, very much. And then this box, who is this from? Um, Cones, Cones Creamery. Is, I mean, that's not necessarily who it's from. That's the company. It's from. Okay. I don't. It doesn't say anything else. Just, I'm wondering if somebody sent it, like ordered it for us, or is this from the company? I don't know. Doesn't say anything else. So, maybe there's a note inside. Got a little welcome thing. There is a piece of paper inside, so maybe it looks like there's a piece of paper right there. So maybe it says who it's from. I'm working. I'm working. Oh, yeah, there's a note. Okay, let's see. Uh, hi, Tammy. My name is Brady Hand, and I'm a huge fan of yours and Kevin's, and I love the content you two put out. Uh, I feel as though we would be really good friends if we knew each other in real life. Anyways, I have a boba tea store named Cones Creamery Boba, which is located in the frozen tundra we call Fargo. Oh, Lord. Oh, Fargo, North Dakota. I take we out. just started selling and shipping DIY at-home boba tea kits. I wanted to send you a complimentary starter kit for free as an appreciation for your positive impact on my life. I thought of you... Uh, I thought of you as I have a feeling you would really love it, and I know it's something you'd have fun doing. This is a thank you to you for making videos that uplift my days when I need it most. Check us out on Instagram at Cones, K-O-N-E-S, mm -hmm. Creamery with a K. Cones Creamery for more on what we have to offer, or ConesCreameryBoba.com. And this is Sincerely Brady. This is cool. Hopefully there's instructions. Oh gosh. Well, in here. Okay. <laughs> Why do you need instructions? Because there's a lot of individual parts in here. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Boba box. Uh, professional grade tea in the comfort of your own house. DIY boba box. Make your boba an experience in creating your own drinks with high quality ingredients. Let the boba box experience be one you treasure and take pride in. You know people have told me you need to you need to experience real boba okay uh it's these are recipes so this is for a, a recipe for green tea this is a recipe for boba and this is a recipe for milk tea so no there are not there's not like well that's fine if it, it tells well i don't know we'll see it says steep steep right. jasmine green tea yeah, for five nice. minutes we know how to do okay steep. here i'll just show you what we get so this is Snoop Dogg's wow. magic ingredient. No. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of look like that. <laughs> hey, he said this is have to go with the Snoop Dogg the cookbook, the brownies. Uh, <laughs> I guess you'd have to watch that brownie video. To understand. Um, well, you did say Snoop Dogg's magic ingredient. Most people would kind of guess what that was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is jasmine green tea. And ooh, honeydew milk tea. It's very green. 
Yeah, it feels like a... Like a... I don't know. Kool-Aid packet or something. Yeah, but it's soft. Okay. This is milk tea. It's kind of a, a camel color. And this is non-dairy creamer. Well, they give it all to you, don't they? Mm -hmm. And there's your... Bubba? Golden Tropica... Golden, uh, it's it's golden Tropica, tapioca tapi pearl. pearls. Yeah, golden tapioca pearls. Yeah, tapioca pearls. Um, yeah, golden tapioca pearl. And then this is Heinz honey. I think there's two on there. Okay. And there's some Truvia. Have we ever tried Truvia? Mm, no, it's Truvia and all those. I don't think we've ever had Truvia. Sweet yeah, I don't think we've ever had that before. Oh my gosh, I get in my own cup. So I guess you, when you get the at-home kit, you even get the cup? Yeah, you get, I mean, I'm gonna show you more stuff. I'll, oh, I'll okay. Help you. you get the, the tea, the steeping, like a little met basket. Uh-huh. Which I've never had. Thought that would come right out of there. But anyway, it's a little basket that closes up, you put your tea in. Um, you get a scoop. It has their logo on the cup. Um, you get a, I can't see that. A straw for the cup. Okay. You get oh, a, and look, the cup has a... I've what? never had a cup like that before. That's a mixing spoon oh my and a half gosh. right there. That's a teaspoon. That's literally a tea. That's a really big teaspoon. That, that is there. four tea. And then you get the cleaning straw for uh, the cleaning thing for the straw. That's cool. What is that? Yeah, that's a, like a, I don't know what show right or, well, that's our, I think it's our PO box. Yeah, it was our PO box. Yes, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, welcome. Cones Bubble Box. Probably should have read this before. <laughs> Inside each Cone's Bubble Box, you will find the freshest and highest quality ingredients. We believe that our ingredients define your boba experience. Raw, organic, gluten, and dairy-free powders free of chemicals are things we pride ourselves on. Each Bubble Box is curated and construction by our team. Constructed by our team, meaning that the boba making process for you will be simple. Using the same ingredients as our professional boba shop located in Fargo, North Dakota, and customized to your preferences, this boba box is guaranteed to fix your boba cravings. Simple and easy from beginning, from beginners to pros, enjoy your boba from the comfort of your house. Um, I'll tell you why this will be interesting. Because... When we do this video, you're going to be watching two people <laughs> who have never visited a boba shop. Now, we've had boba tea in like a bottle. In a can. A can, that's what it was. Um, that's the only way we've ever had it. We've never visited a shop. Um, definitely never done my own. Definitely never done tea like this. I've always had it in the the easy, you know, pre-sealed up uh, packages uh, for tea. So this will be um, an adventure. Uh, this video. <laughs> um, I. <laughs> so do you think you steep? I your hope tea you in don't expect glass? too much. I guess you steep it in this glass and then pour and then pull it out. It's got a little chain on it because it says steep like for the milk tea. You're gonna steep the green tea for exactly five minutes. Then you're gonna add three scups, scups, scoops of flavor powder and two scups of non-dairy scups, scups. scoops <laughs> of non-dairy creamer, and then stir to dissolve, and then add the, the pearls. You know what? Huh. This this video will be fine because guess who's gonna do it? I'll let Kevin do it. I'll film him, and I'll let him I'll let him make each one. So he gave us the stuff to make the green tea, the boba, and the milk tea. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have three individual drinks. Right. Okay, well, cool. You, you, the boba is just how to make... Yeah, this is how you cook those to add to the green tea. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then the so green tea is a, just green tea. So there's two drinks. There's two drinks. There's just green tea, uh -huh. and then there's milk tea. Okay, cool. And only the milk tea has the little balls. Okay. So, yeah. that's what we're going to do. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, could be interesting. Yeah, it, that will be a very interesting video, yes. But like I, I've already said, I'm going to let Kevin do that because Kevin is really, really good with instructions, whereas I am a complete rebel. And she'll read like the first line, and that's as far as she'll read in instructions. It's like, do you know what comes next? Nope, I haven't read that part yet. <laughs> You might need to instantly pull that, pour that into something else. You might want to read ahead a little bit. In high school, in our, my home economics teacher, that is the one thing that she really tried to get through to us was in home ec. When you're doing a recipe, read the entire recipe. Fine. And she's right. She's absolutely right. Before you start anything, read the entire recipe from start to finish. And I, I, I just, I, I don't want to. <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> Still doesn't. And that's bad because a lot of recipes, you, they'll tell you, okay, you need three eggs. And then you'll get on down in the instructions and they'll say, divided. Oh, no, I've already cracked all three eggs in one bowl and didn't divide them because I didn't know I was supposed to divide it. Or a cup of sugar it's supposed to be divided, but you don't know that until it gets on down. Now, a good recipe will say it at the beginning. Divide, yeah. That's my thing. If it was, it's the recipe's fault. Because if it was a good recipe, they would tell you to divide it from the beginning. That's true, but you should still read the directions. But you should still read the directions. I know, I'm bad. Uh, but thank you all. Thank you very, very much. Um, I know it's after Christmas, but I still enjoy getting the Christmas cards and uh, greatly appreciate this. Uh, but there will be some videos, reviews coming up. And uh, thanks a lot. We have another Christmas card. And the thing is, is, is the last Christmas cards I showed you were stamped on the 19th, I think. This one was stamped on the 19th too. And it's just, they, I think the storm slowed everything they arrive in the box at different times. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Is that something you can take off? No, oh, no, it's but just it, it, no, it looks like an ornament. It's very pretty. It's from Martin and Esther in Illinois. Does that look like something you'd be able to pull off and hang on the tree? We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy and a safe Happy New Year. Warmest wishes, Martin, Esther, and Vicious the Chihuahua. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. That is beautiful. Very, that's, very a, that's one of those papyrus cards. Mm -hmm. They a papyrus always. They're always really nice. Mm -hmm. They do a very good job. That does look like a, a brooch, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, some kind of it's very, that you'd have put on a limb or something. Yeah, it's too bad it doesn't pop off no, there to put on the on a tree. But we have had them from I don't know if that company. We've had ornaments that came off things you could use. Yeah, so. you could use. Yeah. So we have two boxes to open for you. This one says it's uh, wicked. Yes. Wicked jacks. Yes. So, Ruth had, had asked me, have you ever had a cake from this company? I'm seeing if there's any notes. If there's a note from Ruth? Um, notes. No, none. It's, it no, says none. And it came from Aroma Ridge is the company it actually shipped from. Mm -hmm. Well, she had, Ruth had sent me a message on Instagram saying, yeah. have you ever tried anything from this brand? And it's called Wicked Jack's Tavern, and it is a bourbon rum cake. And I said, no, I've never heard of them. Vanilla. But uh, I sure do love rum, and I sure do love bourbon. So um, can imagine it, bourbon and rum. Oh, I th it's it says taste the legendary goodness in this moist buttery cake with true Jamaican rum and real Kentucky bourbon whiskey. I'm excited about this. Mm -hmm. um, not, uh, since uh, 1675. I'm wondering where, where, oh, where are these cakes made? Where? No. No. No, but I'm going to look. Oh, Georgia. Marietta, Georgia. So if there you, you are in Georgia, let me know if you've heard of these. Do they have different flavors? I'm assuming, I'm sure they have different flavors because this says vanilla. So they probably have chocolate or red velvet or lemon or whatever. I don't know. You'll have to let me know. I'm very excited about this, Ruth. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. And thank you for letting me know you were sending it because there was no note. I mean, there was a note, but it said there, there was it said none. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I would not have known if you hadn't told me. So I appreciate you telling me. Uh, this, I hope Georgianne is watching because Georgianne 
sent us some uh, Mama Bev's, some of their uh, ooey gooey cakes, and we reviewed them on the channel. Well, it's been a while. It's It's been a, a while ago, but Mama Bev's just watched the videos, and because, you know, I don't tell companies that I'm, you know, I just don't tell them. So, if they find them, they find them, if they don't, they don't. Um, but they contacted me. They, they sent me, actually, it was a, um, a message on YouTube, and they wanted to know could they send me some more stuff. And I said, absolutely. So this says, thank you for the fine review of our butter cakes. We appreciate your honesty and sharing the sweet taste of home with your viewers. Please enjoy some of the other flavors we offer, Mama Bev's team. So, handwritten note, very, very nice. And uh, they also put up just an instruction, but I guess they put that with everything, saying that they're shipped with an ice pack, but it's expected the ice pack's gonna thaw out. Um, that you're supposed to eat these at room temperature, uh, and then you can read the rest of that. Um, <laughs> That's all once they arrive, you will have 10 days to eat them at room temperature. If you choose not to eat them right away, place them in the refrigerator and you will get two months before it should be eaten. Okay. Freeze and you get 12 months. So if you're if you're leaving them out at room temperature, you have- Ooh, that doesn't like ice pack. That's you know what? Gel I, I think it's awesome that they do that. It's just a normal part of the process. But believe you me, you did not need an ice pack right now. <laughs> not right here. <laughs> well, the whole United States. That's except true. Except for those in California. In Florida. California. No. Even Florida's cool. Yeah. It's not freezing though. Yes. They you would not believe the plants that have been killed in Florida over the cool this cool snap and some people covered their plants and some people didn't and yes it has been they so did. cold it's like record lows there. yeah but they could have honestly saved the ice pack with this order um well that's just they stuck it on top just to keep them cool yeah mama bev st louis butter cake has a top layer that is cookie like during shipping, some cracking may occur. This does not affect the quality of your order. If you have any more questions about our cakes, we are always happy to chat with you. Um, so, and they were located in Wisconsin. So you got brownie butter. Yum. That looks good. Okay. Pumpkin. Oh, cool. Chocolate fudge. Uh-huh. Salted caramel. Uh, What's it? Crumb cake, which looks really good. It's got like, it's got the crumble on top. Oh, that, yeah, that looks awesome. And then, click on pie. Ah, uh, that, yeah. I know you'll look forward to trying that. They all look good. Uh, Are you seeing what we tried before? I'm seeing, uh, yeah, I want to tell you all, uh, if, if, you, if you've forgotten or somehow you missed the videos, I want to tell you what we've tried. We've tried the, uh, these are St. Louis butter cakes. Oh, they so, were in a brown box uh, at that time. They were, those the, those were in brown, these were white. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. So we have, we've tried the classic, the caramel apple, uh, the raspberry, the uh, chocolate fudge. Did oh, you say yeah, we got I another chocolate, chocolate fudge? fudge? Yeah, we're here, chocolate fudge. Okay, so we've already tried that okay. one, so we won't do that one again on video. Uh, pecan pie. Oh, so we did try the pecan pie. Yeah, you just forgot. Oh, you know what though? It's you can't, wrong, you can't remember everything. Um, we tried the pecan pie, uh, the salt, uh, salted caramel. Okay. Uh, chocolate fudge, pecan pie, salted caramel, and peanut, peanut butter cookie. Yeah, so there's pumpkin, crumb cake, and brownie butter we haven't tried. So we've tried these three, not those. Three. Oh, okay. So we've tried. So half and half. Oh, okay. So we've tried three of the six. Mm -hmm. So we can literally just, just enjoy them. those. <laughs> yes. Just eat them. Yes. So uh, yeah. So you can look forward to to a pumpkin, a brownie, butter, and crumb cake. But this video, I truly do uh, have to thank George Ann because she sent us these and the first ones. Uh, this first one yeah and so the company if we hadn't have uh reviewed those from georgia ann the company wouldn't have seen the video so thank you i don't expect mama bevs to see this video i i 
I doubt the vlog. Yeah, I don't think they would realize I do these box openings here, but this is really cool and you all that watch the vlogs will have a heads up. Uh, so I'm actually going to end the video here for the week. Thank you very, very much for your continued support and watching the channel and uh, just being here. We always appreciate it and we will see you next week.